Hey guys, my name is Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, I'd like to thank you for stopping back again. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. So if you want to see my thoughts on this concealer, then stay tuned. Okay, so as usual, I fill in my brows and conceal them already and I also apply some setting powder. So to get the show on, on the road, I'm just going to quickly put on my um, Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation, which is 50N, you know. I want to use this to go along with the concealer. My face is already moist, moisturized and primed, by the way. All right, I'm gonna use this big brush here from um, BH Cosmetics. Number one, I'm just gonna blend that in really, really fast. Because this is not the main focus of this video. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you could see. I like this brush because it's very big and it blends in your foundation really, really fast. Alright, let's do the forehead here. I've had this foundation for a while, but I haven't been really using it as much. So now is the perfect time since I have the concealer. Then I'll use the foundation as well. Let me put a little bit more right here. Just for a little bit more coverage. Okay, that's good. Now, for the star of the show, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer comes in this nice glass bottle. It is um, 0 0.30 ml. Okay, this is $15. And of course, I got it from Sephora. And um, so we're gonna try this out today. 35N is my color. Okay, alrighty, so I'm going to put this on. I haven't tried it. This is my first time opening this one. So I'm, I'm a bit excited to use it. I hope the coverage is good. So I'm going to just put it under here. Okay, looks nice so far. It feels nice and creamy. I'm gonna put some on my nose, my forehead, a little bit on the chin here. Alright, so. Alrighty, so while I'm doing my um, contour, my cream contour, which is my black radiance one. As usual, let me just tell you guys some things about this concealer. It's a natural finish. And another claim is that it's long wearing, anti-pollution, and it's also vegan, which means no animals were killed to create this product. Do I sound like a commercial? Okay, and it comes in 50 shades, so you should not have a, prob a problem finding your shade. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on while I let the concealer sit, just like I would do any other time, right? Okay, put a little bit on my chin here, sculpt it out. 
Also, um, some great things about this concealer is that it has hyaluronic, actually, hyaluronic, ha. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. It has hyaluronic acid, which hydrates your skin, and also algae extract, which is an anti-pollution. Okay, I finally got that out. Okay, so it's also no, it's also considered a clean brand. And um, those are the claims. So it should be doing some great things for my skin while I'm wearing it. So let me just blend out my contour. I'm gonna blend it out, blend it out in the hairline. Since my hair is off my face today. And then you want to drag this up because you want to lift your face so you, you know, bring it up, upwards. You don't want to drag your face down. You want to make it look nice and sculpted. Move this mirror in front of me a little bit. Now for the moment of truth. I'm going to use my Shein, my favorite sponge from Shein. And let's blend out the concealer. Let me do my forehead first. We're gonna leave the under eyes for last, right? Okay. We're gonna do the chin. Let's do the nose. Okay, let me bring you guys in a little more. There you go. All right, now let's do under the eyes. It feels great. Not, it did not dry down, you know, too fast, which is, which is awesome. I'm just going to put a little bit over my hair, over my lid here, even though I did use some before, but not this one. Oh, something on my eye. Okay. I like the color. I think it's perfect. All right, and let's do the other side. So far, I'm loving how it looks. Guess what guys, so my camera decided to run out of space. So I had to go make some space. So as I was stated before, the concealer is giving good coverage. I'm going to put a tad bit more just right here, just to see. I think I could even, I could have gone down to one shade lighter as well and it would have been fine you know but the coverage is enough okay it's not making my eyes feel dry at all so moisturizing it is okay i like it uh, because when I even when I went to go make the space on my um, my camera, um, it didn't crease, which is awesome. That's what you need. Okay, so I figure I'll try the Sephora um, translucent setting powder since I didn't have that in my collection. Um, you know, since I bought the. Um, concealer so let me try it out and see how it works so um what we should have done was open it 
but I did it. Okay. So let me just put some on my um, on the cover. Ready? And still, it's not creasing. Okay. Alrighty. So let me see how this concealer here works because Miss Taira Brown, she swears by it. You know, she had me going to Sephora and buying stuff all the time because you know, if she said it's good, it's good. And that feels really nice. Okay. It's not too yellowy. Okay. I like it. Yeah. And again, always make sure that your sponge, your beauty sponge is damped. Okay. All right, I'm going to put some setting powder here and here on my smile lines. And you guys already know why I do that, right? just to make sure there's no creasing but i'm really liking the coverage on this setting powder all right let me gonna i'm gonna put some down to bake because i also have another surprise something else that i tried right all right so eyelids are set getting this all over my clothes alrighty so I also tried this beautiful palette it's called I love like your eye love you know I have an accent so everything might um, sound a little funny medium cool eyeshadow palette Sephora brand comes in this nice packaging and this was only nine dollars as well and the setting powder was only $15. I just have these nice neutral color. Right? So I'm going to do something pretty simple. I'm just taking this light color here. And I'm just going to put that on my under my brow bone here. Okay. Alrighty, and I'm going to take this brown color, this color here, like a light, lighter brown, and just put it in my transition area. Yeah, this um, concealer for $15, not bad at all. I actually love it. All right. I'm only going to do something really simple. Just maybe use two colors out of this palette. Alrighty, so I'm just going to take this dark brown color and put that on the... Okay, so we're going to use the brown color and I'm just going to put that on the outer part of my eye, like right here. get closer come on I'm just gonna put it on the outer part here this look is gonna be so simple guys so simple we tried to be simple over here you know okay I'm just gonna put that on the outer outer corner outer V area outer lid area Like that, right? Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go back with that first brush and just use that to 
blend out the top part and I'm just going to use this gold color here to put on the inner part. See how simple that was, right guys? Don't say I don't make it easy. Right? That's it. Now we just go back with this brush and just blend it a little bit. And that's really, really all I'm going to do. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I went off camera to do the other eye and then I just apply some lashes. These are the Volt lashes, Kala lashes. And um, I'll make sure I link everything down below. This you can purchase from Amazon. Also, so now I'm just going to dust some powder off my face. I didn't show you guys the package. I don't think I did. I think I showed it to you in the box. Wait, maybe I did. Nice and black. So cute, right? All right let me just use my Sephora Micro Smooth powder with my favorite brush to brush off the to set the rest of my face. I'm going to leave you zoom in just a little bit until I'm done. I also went on, uh, put on some eyeliner and I used this, um, the same brown color that I put on the edge. I used that to um, blow out the liner. Alrighty, I'm just gonna use a brush. Let me use this brush and just dust off the um, setting powder. Okay, my eyes are looking pretty good. I mean, for fifteen dollars, we're looking good. Like it says, it's not drying at all. So that's a plus. Let me just put on some bronzer really quick. I'm using my Black Radiance one. Cafe is the, is the um, shade. Someone commented on my video the other day. Um, she wanted to see how I contour my nose. I don't really do a lot. I'm just going to use this brush and I'm just going to dip it in here. I'll put some right here and right here and then I just drag it down. I don't use the cream contour that much. This is, you know, easier for me. See, basically that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking it down to the sides. And I like to bring it up to the front of my brow also, like right here. Basically, I'm just faking like I have a nose bridge and I don't have a big nose bridge, but you know. God gave me what he thought I needed. So, that's it. And just blend it out. Alrighty. 
Now I'm going to put on my favorite Julius Place, Bella. Blush. Big BH Cosmetics fluffy brush here to just put it on the back of my cheeks. Now with the nose contour, if you feel like it's too much, you can always go back. I love this blush. You can always go back over it after to, to just to soften it up a bit so it doesn't look so standout-ish. You can use your finger if you like, like that, just to blend it out. All right, I'm gonna set my face using my Black Radiant Setting Spray. Drown in there for a second, and I'm just gonna use my sponge and just you know go over my face, pushing everything. All right, let's put on some lipstick. I'm using my um, NYX Club Hopper lip liner. And the other day. I said this was morph I said this was Sephora but it's Morphe and it clearly says Morphe on it so this is backseat love I'm gonna put that on let me zoom you guys back out oops I always go back over that with my pencil. Today I'm going to use this um, Milani lip gloss. Um, I will leave the um, number or the color down in the description section, okay? Like a pinky nude color. Okay. I'm going to just use my MAC O Darling highlighter. Just to put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Okay, I'll put some on the tip. And then while I'm here, I'll just put some on my inner corner. Right here. then if you want you can just go back with your brush that you use to contour your nose just to clean up the sides of the highlight a little bit okay guys so this is my finished face okay I mean $15 Sephora you definitely got the formula right um, Full coverage, I think it is, and I'm loving on my under eyes. Looking so far, I have no crease in, and I love it. Also, it has a great, nice and big um, doe foot applicator for $15. My face is looking very expensive. The powder, I loved it also. And also the eyeshadow, I think it's cute. You know, a simple little um, palette for like $9 and my face looked like I have some very expensive product on. So I believe that this is worth a try. So if you haven't 
gone out to get this concealer as yet, I recommend that you do. Give it a try. You can get two, one darker, one lighter. You could even get one to contour your face, like a darker shade to do your contour in. But I'm very pleased with how everything turned out. So I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so we have come to the end of the video. As you can see, my face is sitting very pretty and clean and flawless. So this concealer is a must buy. I mean, it's only $15, give it a try. You can, I mean, it's hydrating as it says because under my eyes feel very good. Not cakey, not dry, not, you know, it feels very good. Alrighty, so the claims on this concealer I believe that Sephora got this one right. Also, I enjoy the powder, the set, setting powder. It's very good. Um, it's not too yellow, so I really love that about it. So I have no creasing under my eyes from what I'm seeing. You know, no creasing. The little eyeshadow palette was really, really cute and nice. So only $9, but I know it's all about the concealer. So my suggestion is that you should go out and try it. So I hope you enjoy watching. Before you leave the video, um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also turn on your post notification bell so you will never miss an upload. Until next time, I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.